Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Skyr here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. And I have zero clue what I'm doing right now, but I'm loving every minute of it. <laughs> I just started doing this, and I'm like, you know what? This would be a great time to intro the video for today. <laughs> I'm like saving my life one rocket at a time. But anyway, guys, let's actually concentrate because we have much work to do today. And that is, of course, on our landscaping shop, which we worked on in our last episode by building this magnificent tree. So let's jump on top of this other magnificent tree. <laughs> wow, that is that's a lot of shiny diamond and I'm loving every minute of it because hopefully. Wow, that's Scar's face right there. Oh man, this is quite an intro. How about a like for this crazy intro? Anyway, this is the tree we built and thank you guys so, so much for all the pictures on Twitter of you guys using the dirt method from our last episode and creating your own gigantic, amazing trees. It was so inspirational seeing all the cool stuff you guys had built just over the last couple of days. It was really amazing. But what we're going to do today is we're going to give life to the biomes below the tree. So all these little areas, you can see where the quadrants are all set out, where you're going to make custom biomes that hermits can look through and choose what they want for their own custom biome. So they could say, I want this one right here, or I want this piece and most of that one over there. You know, they can just kind of look through it or they might just want a completely different thing, but at least they'll get an idea of the services that we can use or create here at Scouse Landscaping Shop. Great services at the slowest speeds in all the world. <laughs> that last part is very true. But anyway, I'm uh, man, I'm, I'm having a great day today, and I hope you guys are too because I'm pumped to start working on this video. So first things we need to do today is hopefully be able to fly. There we go. We're up in the air. Super awesome. So we need to get the supplies ready. We need to prep the land. We need to lower it and build the banks around the edges and also see if we can get a trident from Doc's shop. I really want a trident that has channeling or whatever one, whatever enchantment that is that makes stuff go out of the water. But we first need to get some diamonds. We got a goal, my friends, and that's to get a couple stacks of diamonds from that pillar. So look at the size of that pillar. That is one hefty pillar full of diamonds. So my question to you guys is how many diamonds do you think is in this pillar right here? I want to know how many you guys think are here because I'm going to break this down with the diamond maker, of course. And I want you guys to guess in the comments, how many diamonds do you think this is going to be? So once we get them all out of there, we're going to calculate it and see. But I'm very curious to see who will get it right. Now, don't go to the end of the video and then put it in the comments. Now, that's cheating. Now, that's not the pirate way, or maybe it is, but not the Scarion pirate way. OK, <laughs> so let's do this. The diamond maker has been very busy bringing down all of those diamonds into their raw form, but has that given you enough time to guess how many diamonds were in that pillar? I've got the number ready to go, so make sure you put your number in the comments. And the reveal is 241 diamonds. Jeez Louise, that is a lot of diamonds. So let's take those over to Docs and see if we can get a trident that has the ability to shoot us through the water because that looks like a good time. Welcome back and look at what we found. This might be the most delightful thing on the server. That right there is a meal inside of a minecart in a boat. So that's a meal, minecart and a boat on top of a building going around and around they go. <laughs> that is truly fantastic. Also, we found this on stream. These gates right here are just ingenious. Like it's the most amazing boat launch I've ever seen in the game. Like I guess those are observers, but I don't know. I don't see the face, so I don't know how they work. But you just, whoops, wrong one. <laughs> you just push these buttons and they go down. Like that is really, really cool. Mules Roy's Phantom. Clever. That's that's clever. I like that. But anyway, on stream, we put a diamond block in here and pushed the button and we were robbed. <laughs> we were robbed. It's probably a uh, foresight to what's about to happen. A silver alert has been issued throughout all of Hermitcraft lands for old man Gree and poor little fella. But I saw somebody with a trident launch themselves around in the water and it's like, I have to have that. Like, I 
I need to try that. I've never had one. I've never used it. And I've got all these diamonds now. It's time to finally use this shop here. So what do we got? Nature Health Organization, Nature Fund, Trident Shop. I like it. High risk, high reward. Guess the price or lose it all. Well, that's sad. Help protect Hermitcraft, Flora and Fauna. Be a winner. I like to be a winner. I like that for sure. As a Vex, all this other stuff comes second to becoming a winner. <laughs> Let's take a look at the book here. Welcome to the Nature Health Organization, NHO. Trident Shop. High risks, high rewards. Get your trident now and help to protect the hermitcraft flora and fauna. Okay. How to win a trident. Make a guess the price of one trident. Hint, it's over 32 diamonds. All right, we'll remember that. Put the diamonds in the chest and press the button. Wait until you hear a sound for the machine to finish important okay guys this is very important this is all in capital letters only if you match or overbid my secret fixed price you will get a trident if you pay too little the shop will not refund your spare diamonds and you will not get a trident be smart and don't try to be cheap if you have any problems please contact your representative doc 77 health Health greetings, your NHO no refunds. Wow, and people call the Vex cunning, whoo. All right, how many are we gonna do? My first thought is like a stack. Okay, so it's 32 diamonds, right? I know it's not a stack for sure. Okay, so I was considering like a stack and a diamond. We could totally try that. I'm, I'm kind of considering that. I really wanna try that. After watching, who would I watch? It was somebody's stream launching themselves with that, and it's just, oh, it looked fun. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, that's a lot of diamonds. Bam, okay, here we go. Come on, come on. How long is this gonna take? Can we go say hi to Etho? Oh wait, no, we have no time to say hi to Etho. Okay, drum roll guys. Bam, oh, no, no, so many diamonds. Oh, there was so many. Oh. I should just go out and try to kill him. <laughs> No, wait, not Doc. I don't, I'm not going to kill Doc. I mean, I should go try to find more drowns. Like, I've killed so many under the volcano and got nothing. Ah, oh, should we try again? <laughs> should we try again after we lost? All right, so that was a stack. So if we threw in, oh my gosh, that's all my diamonds. I mean, I have a few left here and there, but not like to this extent. We're going to do a lot of mining soon. So I know we're going to get diamonds back. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Here, let's go say hi to Etho real quick. Etho, please, please give me the passion of a thousand Etho luck. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh my gosh. So it's two stacks. Wow. That might be the most expensive thing I have ever spent in Minecraft. <laughs> but I'm also really happy. Also, I'm really unsatisfied with the durability of this product. I rate this a two out of five. I like the Trident. It looks nice, but it's also broken. And I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that at all. But let's go get this thing suited up. We now have all of the books necessary to create the trident. Now we're going to start with Riptide. And then we'll add our mending and our unbreaking here. I don't know what else I can attach to this. I don't know if we can put impaling or loyalty or channeling. But we'll see how it goes after we get Riptide installed. The trident is ready to go. We have the enchantments. We're down by the sea crystal, which we haven't been here since like episode three. Looking super cool. Now, of course, we need to start positioning these things all around the island. But OK, we're going to go into F3. We're going to pull it. And here we go. OK, well, that that, uh, that was sure worth uh, three stacks of diamonds. Wow. Wow. This is this is wow. I'm I'm having way too much fun, guys. Woo. This is good times. Let the good times roll. Wow, I uh, made a mistake. Um, I think I should go back to doing what I do best, and that's making trees. Let this episode serve a purpose, and a purpose showing you what not to do. First of all, never trust Doc's Gambling Association. That's one. Second, don't waste your diamonds on a worthless trident that doesn't do anything cool. So I'm just going to throw that in there with the other one. At least I still have some diamonds. Hello. 
All right. So now what we need to do is start working on today's episode. And that is to first soften up the land. And what I mean by that is we need to kind of flatten it and then lower it down ever so slightly. So there is kind of a neat little kind of crater where all the different biomes are nestled below. So if we can grab our beacon and get going with that process, we can. I forgot <laughs> the actual beacon is in my mind and I left the star here. That just fits today's episode. But anyway, <laughs> oh man, I need some luck, guys. Wish Scar some luck. <laughs> He's gonna need it when we start doing these biomes. They're gonna be quite uh, experimental, if you will. So yeah, we're gonna put down the beacon. Well, I mean, an actual beacon, not the star. That, that technically, that doesn't do anything. So once we get that beacon all set up, we will start lowering this down and prep the area so we can start building. I have been told when it is raining, you can use Riptide to fly through the skies. Oh, oh my gosh, Korean, what in the world? He's always sneaking up on me. He's always trying to trap me. <laughs> what in the world? I swear, he is always trying to scare me. There's a skeleton horse in the water. Oh my gosh, what? What? Wait, what am I typing? Why in the world am I typing? I'm so distraught, I'm so distraught, what? What is going on? Oh my gosh, this is insane. Go, leave us alone. Leave us alone. What in the world? He was like crouch, crouch swimming. <laughs> oh, he's gonna kill me. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Look at this. Look at this. We're champions. Champions of the night. There we go. Fighter of the night, man. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna launch ourselves into the sky. All right. And then we take this out and we should be able to launch ourselves. Oh, this is cool. That really does give you a massive boost in the butt as you're flying around. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, there's so many mobs. There's so much horrible. Oh my God, Cub just did the launchy thing. Ow, wait, I just, oh no, this is so bad. No, 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 we are so, so gonna die. <laughs> oh, wow. I think he can summon like more of those evil creatures. Oh man, this, this is actually a lot of fun, but I guess this only works when it's raining in the sky. I don't know. I guess I just got to learn how to use this properly. This is, this fun, is crazy. Man. This is amazing. I love this. <laughs> I want me those Skelebone horses. Yeah, mm. I want one as well. There's three over here. There's one behind us. Scar There's has already surrounded. killed two, and I don't think I can ever forgive him. Those were oh. vicious creatures that were out to kill me, and I don't regret a minute. But I also want one how, myself. How do we kill them? Because I got close, and I accidentally hit one with a diamond sword. Is it oh, just sorry. being accurate? <laughs> uh, you, gotta, you gotta just aim at the skeleton, basically. Alright, let's give it a go, shall there, we? Let me... Easiest way to do it is with a bow, I would say. I don't have a bow. You don't have a bow? What is... What? <laughs> How, how long is the season going on, Green? Come on, man. I don't need you one. Well. Can you charge up creepers with the lightning thing? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Ooh. Let's do that. Oh my, let's do it. There's some creepers <laughs> over there. Oh, it's shoot. I there's, there's, there's no, there's no I, more storm. There's no I more definitely storm. didn't kill another horse. We should horse. probably sleep. You wanted this, Green. You wanted the night, man. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you wanted I want, the night. I want that skeleton horse. There we go. I'm gonna, I got one. Oh, I was going to get I it. To... Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, I there hit Falsa's shop. Dang it. Oh, rip. Oh, God, that quill. Nice oh, dude, I'm Whoa. in the mining district. <laughs> oh, man. There may or may not be a giant hole in the world at Concord from the charge creepers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to claim this Skelebone horse for me. So how do you kill the, uh, the skeleton on the horse? Because I killed the With horse every time. great accuracy. Yeah, I know. Great accuracy. Watch yep. this. You ready? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. He fires back. Scar, do something. No, I, Scar, I, don't have any, I don't have any weapons. Oh, I hit the... Oh, we need cub for this. Oh, I did Coming. it. I did it. Oh, nice, 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 nice. You got it. You got it? I got nice, it. I got nice. It. How do we heal him up? Oh, you need the potions. Oh, great. I don't got those. Regen yeah. potions. Oh, that's, that's a lot of work, cub. Yeah, that's... <laughs> This guy has like three hearts left over here. Oh my god. I, I need that head. Scar, I need that I need that head. Here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's your trident. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna give me the skull. Well, well, okay, the okay. Skull. Okay, here you go, here you go. 
There's a mine. I, I can snipe from a distance. I'm pretty good. Can I use the trident, maybe? Oh, look at that. First time. One down. Oh, one down. oh. oh come on. <clears throat> Two down. Uh, you know what? Scar can do it. Uh, sorry, uh, Cub can do it. You know what? I'll just stand here. No, don't throw it. Don't. Scar, but you death. Just leave, let him do it. Okay. There we go. There All we go. right. Three more. Three more. Perfect. <laughs> we, need to, we needed to communicate more, Scar. <laughs> he threw his trident just as I hit it, so his trident killed the skeleton, and then my bow... Oh. Yeah, it was sad. Jeez. There were tears, but we're, we're over it now. We got three yeah. to sell, 20 diamonds apiece? What do you think? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that's good, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Gotta make a stable somewhere, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't have saddles. I don't I either. I got one for me. I got some. I got some. Of course you do. I, can, I, I mean, that's what I was banking here. on big time. <laughs> and that one. All right, let's do it. Right, let's, let's go. Do it. <laughs> dive, dive, dive. Wait, what in the world? He kicked me off again. No, he's running. He doesn't want to go in the water. He doesn't want to go. <laughs> None of us have this problem, Scar. Jeez, man. Get back here, man. Honestly. Are you pressing, sh you're pressing shift to go down in the water, aren't you? Well, how else are you supposed to go down? You just, you just let me sink because that's you dismant dismounting it. Oh, dang it. Let's go, let's go, let's go hunt for some drowns, guys. This whole time. This whole time. See if we can find some. Can you, can you safely <laughs> use the bow and arrow on the horse or is that a no go? Well, it doesn't work underwater. So. Oh, true. Pretty much got to use the trident. Would it be okay if I threw my empty potion bottle in the ocean? Go for it. No. Go for it. No, come on. No littering. You don't need to litter. All right. No littering. No littering. No, no uh, too late. Yeah. My cape is just going around the horse's tail, and uh, it looks like a giant nose, and it looks quite fantastic. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's funny. Look at, look at, look at the nose. Look at the nose. <laughs> it gotta be down here somewhere. Better watch out for that evil hostile mob that lives in the deepest part of the ocean. Oh wait. Never mind. They need something like it. They need like a like a kraken or a kraken. A Megalodon. All right, at Minecon, like if anyone gets to ask anyone a question, you go hashtag release the kraken jib. <laughs> <laughs> that should be that should be no. a that That'll should be it. a running hashtag. Release the kraken for the oceans. Oh, there's a ravine here. Ooh, that's fancy. That's a problem though. If you go down, there's no coming up. <laughs> Scar's already committed no. to it. No. Already I'm coming back. No, 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 guys, no. Uh, no. Guys. To the bottom of Davy Jones' locker. Please, goes. I need a rope. Give me that skull and I'll help you up. Yeah, this is the proper way up. Back the way we can. Woo. All right, okay, see Brian. Brian has made it. Scar has lost at sea, though. <laughs> Scar has definitely lost at sea. I'm trying, I'm trying. I literally only have like a one block barrier and he cannot jump. There he's out. Oh my gosh, I'm out. Okay. I'm out. That was way too much That's work. It. There he is. Well, that was pandemonium. That was also a lot of fun. We're going to sell the excess horses, right? And mm -hmm. we've got a pretty decent mm -hmm. spot picked out. So we've got all our horses here and we're going to make a little stable here. And we're not going to spend too much time on it because as soon as these horses are gone, that's it. Yeah. What do you reckon? How much should we sell these for? Help, help. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> You're about to uh, suffocate. Yeah, I think, I think 20? 20, 20 diamonds? diamonds? Yeah, 20 diamonds. 32. We've got to sell them before they become common, right? Because, you know, the more, the longer the server goes on, they, these are just going to be everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the more storms right we now, have. Right now, they're nice and rare. I'm feeling about 32 because, you know, you just cut a stack of diamonds, you just cut that thing off. 32? Mm -hmm. They can go underwater, so that, that's a big advantage. So I, I, I'm, I'm okay with 32. What do you think, Graham? Yeah, let's see if they sell. I, also, I, well, what if we also give them really, like, punny names <laughs> so that they sell better, so, like, people can peruse which pun they think is the best? Ooh, I like yeah. that. Yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. I like that. Also, I think, uh, I think we had a rogue one leave over here. <laughs> Looks like we're all finished. Shall I explain the deal, then? How this is all going to pan out? Mm -hmm. we've Indeed. Got, Indeed. We've got a little wager, so... We managed to secure three horses. We're going to take three of ours home. I've decided to call mine Jack Skellabone, named after the original Jack Skellabone that perished. May mm. he forever rest in pieces. And Very tragic. You have decided to call yours. Concorp Cavalry Horse. Right. Call him the Cavalry and of Concorp. Scar, what have you called? You haven't even named yours. No, my personal horse does not have a name. I need suggestions because I outdid myself with my horse for sale. I feel like all I right. used up all my naming uh, points. So the other three, we've decided that we're going to have a little wager. 
We're going to try and sell all of these, and they cost 32 diamonds. I think it's a little bit high, but they say it's fine, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And each of them have a name that we have given them. Uh, <laughs> I won't say who, who named what, or maybe we should. Maybe we shouldn't stand next to the horses we chose names for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, because this one over here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this one, this right, one's, I, yeah. I named mine Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> and right, Cub. Skeletor. Skeletor, of course. Skeletor and They call and me T-Bone. <laughs> they call me T-Bone. So, we decided whoever has, whoever sells the first horse, because Realistically, they're going to look at all of the puns first, right? And they're going to make their decision based on the pun. Mm -hmm. There's a little mm -hmm. secret chest behind here that I has the skeleton head chest. horse that everybody wants, plus three mm -hmm. diamonds. So there's there's real reason to want to win this. So mm -hmm. the pun battle is on. Mm. And whoever sells the first horse claims the prize. I realized I forgot to put all the soul sand down and I actually didn't even finish this pen yet. I'm sorry. I failed you all. Yep, he's out of the running. I say, I say, uh, yeah, Green, you and you and me can, uh, yeah, we can split the profits. They call me, t <laughs> they call me T Bones out of the. Out of the no, run. don't yeah. leave T Bone out of this. Leave <laughs> T Bone out of this. He did nothing. Look at that beautiful face right there. That's a face of a champion. Jeez. <laughs> if you say so, man. If you say so. <sighs> All right. Well, we'll leave it at that then, boys. Let's let's call it quits. Oh, I'm so happy that I have a, a horse back. I was so devastated the first time. Please don't kill it this time. We'll have to get Ren to watch yeah. you. The Hermit yeah. Environmental <laughs> Agency of Documentary Old Films. Promise to look after this one. I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. safe travels, safe travels. Right. Welcome back from the craziness with the Cub and the Green, but that was some good times, especially when I started to go into the trench. Oh, that was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. I also spoke way too soon when it came to that trident. This thing's actually a ton of fun. Like, look at that. I'm like a tornado. It's amazing. But anyway, guys, we need to get to work now. And uh, let's go over to the shore here. Launch ourselves out of the water because, well, we are running out of rockets. We only have four to our name. That is why Top Gun Powder, subsidiary of Concorp is coming to a shopping district near you to fill the gap in the market. But anyway, what we need to do is we need to get a ton of supplies for the biomes and the special thing we're going to do to the tree. Now, I'm not as sure if we're going to get to everything today based on the fun that we had over there with the skeleton horses, but we definitely can at least get the resources and talk to Cub about another future shop that will go in this area. Now, first thing we need to do, ice so let's head out to the ice princess's biome we're going to be very secretive so she doesn't know we're here and uh, let's do that well if i can fly that is welcome to the ice biome here and i have a sneaky solution to avoid the ice princess awareness of us so what we're going to do is we're going to hollow out the center of this mountain and then we'll just go like this like a little bit of that a little bit of this and she'll never know we were here and like that, we now have some ice, and we didn't even leave a footprint in the biome. So let's deposit that into here. So we got a decent amount of ice and a little bit of packed ice and even a smidge of blue ice. But now what we need to do is get some snow. So let's see, we need the shears for sure. And we'll jump over. Ah, perfect. Here's my pumpkins. Let's grab some of, not the coal, let's grab some oak leaves. Is there anything else we need? Oh, yeah, Scar, and actually Snowblock to make a snowman. <laughs> um, hmm, there it is, beautiful, okay. Oh, I forgot we still had a little bit of packed ice that we bought from the Ice Princess. Now, of course, we would have bought everything we needed from her, but she's out of stock, so there's nothing else we could have done. All right, there we go, and we'll just make a quick little Olaf setup here. Get ourselves an Olaf farm, like I commonly like to refer to it, and put that guy on the top, and we will knock that beautiful. Uh, where's your little pad? Little fella? <laughs> where is your pad, Scarloff? Scarloff, where is your pad? Where's your snow thing? So, traditionally, at least prior to 1.13, if you have snowman down on the ground, there should be like a little, like, pad you can click on it, and it makes magic happen, or snowballs in that matter. It's, it's, unless it's invisible. Here, let's see. Nope, <laughs> clearly not. Um, what if we let him free? So come on, Scarlet you're free. Make snow for us. Here you go. You have a free blank slate to work with. It's true. 
you're free. You are free to experiment. Come on, come on, come on. We got we got uh, snow cones over here. Woo, snow cones. Um, there's no snow under him. Am I just like that big of a noob? Or I've been playing this so long, I only remember how these things used to track snow all over the place when they first came out into Minecraft at like, like slightly before or after beta Minecraft back 2011. Come on, little fella, you can make it. I believe in your snow capabilities. I have been scratching my head for a good 10 minutes and I cannot get these guys to produce snow. Maybe it's biome specific now, but I don't know. It's very strange because every time I've made an Olaf farm, it's always just worked. Maybe it's because I was in a specific biome. I don't really know. Don't look at me like that. I'm really disgusted with you for not giving me snow. That's right. Yeah, take a hike. Um... <laughs> We tried stone. I've tried path blocks. I've tried all the different ones over there. I've done everything um, that I can think of. So I don't know how, but he just walked over these two objects and created snow. So <laughs> maybe we just put a snowman on top of these and see what happens. Oh, that is what I am looking for. Also, we're getting carpets and I've never seen that before. I thought we just got snowballs, but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm just happy to have it. Happy to have it. I think if we do two, we get like double the carpets. Oh, I like that action right there. That's some good stuff. Anyway, guys, I have no idea what happened. So let me know in the comments what's changed with these guys. And uh, yeah, super happy about this. So let's finish getting these carpets all gathered up and then let's meet up with Cub about a future shop opportunity. Hello, Scar. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, I thought I was going to launch into the air. <laughs> not quite. Not quite. I'm so man. sorry. But, you that know, was... Vexes have a deflector shield that protected you. I was really mm -hmm. going to launch into the air because I thought these things were awful, Cub, like shooting through the water. But it turns out it launches you into the air. Look at that. <laughs> I've been it's doing this good. all day and I, I just can't stop. Can't stop. Loving every minute of it. <laughs> it's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be using this a lot, actually, for uh, launching. Also... If you have ender pearls, you can launch ender pearls an incredible distance. So that's pretty fun too. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't tried that. I'll have to work on that. So what takes you over here to Scars? Future landscaping shop. Great quality, Cub. Remember, great quality at slow and unreliable speeds. Oh yeah. <laughs> slow and unreliable. Yeah, slow and unreliable is, is your is your mantra, right? Mm -hmm, it's like mm -hmm. your thing. Yep. Like yep. So I I've come <laughs> over here to ask you about uh Undercut, the Ooh. Concorp log shop. Mm -hmm. turns out Ren's tree is totally infested with I guess silverfish or endermites some yeah. type of bugs in there and uh, Ren kindly got rid of our shop for us so I mean we're looking for a new home and you just so happen to have a big tree here I was wondering if uh, maybe we could somehow incorporate undercut into the tree we can think about it think about it but I do have to mention about Ren's tree over there got a lot mm -hmm. of complaints a lot of complaints from our customers. So we definitely, like you said, we definitely got to get out of there. They're not big on those termites. We have a high quality product here. High quality. Yeah. Yep. The highest. Highest of quality. So we could do it in the tree, but the tree's pretty filled up right now from like the minecart system and all the things that are going to go up to the top. So I got a whole Ooh. plan here. Got a whole plan nice. cup. Nice. But it's all going to take quite a bit of time. You know, subpar speeds. Um, yeah. So the plan is you get on a minecart over here, right? Uh -huh. Get on and then it launches you off and think of it as like a Disneyland ride. You kind of go through the little biomes that are all below the tree that the tree is giving life to. And you see an old Western field and maybe a spooky graveyard and maybe even. Hey, whoa, what in the world? God, we're taking fire. We're taking fire. <laughs> That's part of that spooky graveyard you were mentioning right there. <laughs> yeah, that's, bro, that's true. Exclusive um, previews of that. Yeah. <laughs> and then it'll eventually work itself into the tree, right? And then up okay. into the top, and that's where the shop is going to be up there where you can, you know, order your landscaping shop or your landscaping service, that is, and maybe I'll deliver it before the end of the season. Okay, that sounds really cool. Having like a minecart ride through like a whole bunch of different like example landscapes that you offer. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Where would the wood fit in here? You think it would, we can somehow fit it in maybe or? Uh, I don't know, Cub. I think I have a better idea. I think I got an Ooh. idea. Yes. Okay. So think about this whole land here, the shopping district and the taxes and how are we supposed to maintain our good prices when when the taxes are ridiculous here? They got to maintain that infrastructure. That pathway doesn't keep the weeds away. You know, it takes yeah. a long time to do this and make a beautiful pathway, maintain infrastructure. But I think 
Wait, whoa, you just ended up in a bed in front of me and I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> All of a sudden, there was sleep. just a bed in a box and a base was constructed in front of me. That mm -hmm. was amazing. Yeah, but there's space in the box right there. Yeah, Everything so I think what we could do is we could undercut the Hermitcraft taxes and build in the water and avoid all of the shopping area problems. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, so, like, this is a this is a tax-free zone. Like, here, tax-free. Mm-hmm. And here, taxes. So yeah. We build a boat, don't have to pay taxes, we can continue to undercut the big logs-infested tree shop over there. Yeah, sure. that, yeah. I'm not a big fan of them either. Those prices are outrageous. So what if we yep. build like a giant paddle wheeler in here? Or maybe like a paddle wheeler slash barge, you know, a big front section with logs and maybe there's a crane lowering logs onto there. Oh, jeez, you're gone. Yeah, yeah, it happens. It happens. I'm down to coarse fruit, eating coarse fruit <laughs> right now. So it happens. Are you a wizard? Oh, anybody can be a wizard. Look. Oh, I'd love Go to ahead. be a wizard. Right. It's been a dream. Yeah. I'm a wizard, Harry. <laughs> I'm a wizard cub. There you go. Yeah, right behind me. Man, that was awesome. Yeah, I told you I'm a wizard now. I like being a wizard. I appreciate that. So, what if we do this? We, we do it over here. We avoid any of the taxes so we can keep our low prices, but we're right mm -hmm. in the area. And yep. I think it's a perfect uh, tax shelter. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Tax haven right over here. Just, mm -hmm. just single block off. Single block off the edge. No taxes here. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I like it. Let, let, let's build that thing. I think we'll have to do it some other time, though, because, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we got uh, we got some other stuff to uh, to attend to with our, our various shops that are going up here soon. Or, let's be honest, we're just going to play with this all day. Yeah. Yeah, that was a crazy storm earlier, by the way. That was nuts. Oh, things got wild. I don't even know what happened. Every All plans for the day <laughs> went out the window when that happened. Yeah. <laughs> when Green yeah, shows nuts. up, all plans are out because it's always a good time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, All right, Mr. Man. Cub, a storm is about to approach the tree, and it's going to be amazing. Welcome back, and I hope you enjoyed our time with CubFam as we planned out our brand new wood shop over here. And hey, come on, zombies, this is, a, this is a maintenance area. We're trying to make magic happen over here with biomes. Jeez Louise. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode as we had a super amount of fun with Grian and Cub, but it has taken most of the time today. Wait a second. Why are you now just leaving? It must be, it must be the sun. Look at that. It works under the branches. But it also is like a technicality that it worked on a crafting bench. <laughs> I don't know how this works. You guys are going to have to explain this to me. Uh, but we also got a ton of snow there. Look at all that snow. And these guys are coming after me. So like I said, guys, we're going to have to do the rest of our work in our next episode. And I thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I had fun making it. It was an absolute blast. So until next time, this has been Good Times with Scarlet. Oh, it is really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the videos have to rain, no, you killed Scarlet. That would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scarred for life.